Kia ora e te whanau. So tonight we've got uh, Jono on the call. Jono's just finished the 30-day Te Reo Māori boot camp. Kia ora, bro, uh, for February 2020. And he's online tonight. We're going to go through a few questions and get uh, his some of his feedback and some of his experiences in going through the course, having just recently completed the 30 days. So kia ora, bro. Thanks for jumping on tonight. Yeah, no worries. Cool. So a bit of background about Jono. Jono's not Māori. Jono's wife is Māori. Jono lives uh, up sort of northern New South Wales. So he's over here in Australia. So uh, that was one of the things that really um, stood out to me from Jono, you know, seeing uh, him jumping on to support his wahine uh, in her journey and, uh, you know, everything that she wants to learn. I thought that was just awesome. So a uh, big mihi to you, bro, for uh, supporting not only Tadeo, but your wahine as well. Yeah. Cool, bro. So we'll go through a few questions here. Um, so before you started this journey, what were things like uh, in regards to Te Reo for you in your life and obviously in your, your, your partner's life as well? You, you, um, yep. you know, how did that all sort of fit in your world? Yeah, I guess it's, um, it's kind of been a gradual kind of process and then it's kind of gained momentum over time. So um just before me and my wife started dating. So we knew each other as friends for a couple of years, but she was living in Auckland at the time. So she was born in Australia, but has kind of lived half and half. Um, and so, and I've got a son from a previous marriage. So me and my son did a big South Island of New Zealand holiday for like 17 months. And doing that, I just fell in love with New Zealand, the place, the people, and it wasn't a lot of exposure to, to the Māori culture, being in the South Island. I've since done a few trips to North Island, visit, you know, my wife's family, and we actually got married over there. And you see a lot more of it, you know, but down south it's kind of referenced a little bit. You know, you'll hear a, mm. a little saying or see a, a place name on a sign, but it kind of, I guess, had me a little bit fascinated. And we started chatting after that, and we, we were um, dating on Facebook and doing trips back and forth. And... Uh, yeah, the more that I've been to New Zealand and just met, you know, New Zealand people, I think are just some of the friendliest and loveliest people in the world. Certainly that's my experience. And uh, yeah, just started to ask questions from her being, so she's got an Australian father and a, a Maori mother. Um, so I just started to ask questions and learn little bits and pieces. And uh, I guess it's just kind of gained momentum. And the more I've wanted to learn, the more I've asked questions and just got into it. And so we, uh, we got married last October and we started talking then about learning Teddy all, uh, but we didn't really know how to go about it. Um, so for a few months, we spent a bit of time searching online for yeah, different courses and we started watching like your YouTube videos and, and you know, kids songs and stuff like that and you know, practicing pronunciation and stuff like that. Um, my wife, she wasn't taught Teddy or growing up. Um, and her mum wasn't it was kind of that generational gap thing that's pretty common for a lot of people um, so she knows a little bit but you know never learnt even to a sort of conversation level um, yeah and I guess I started really getting pretty sort of not obsessed with it but I was it was taking up a lot of time you know I was on that's dictionary. called obsessed bro <laughs> yeah I guess it is <laughs> trying to make myself sound normal <laughs> Yeah, so we brought some books and we started looking on Maldi Dictionary and just there was little bits and pieces of stuff that we found. Um, and I think at the time, somewhere along there, I came across that you, through your YouTube channel, that you'd done these boot camp courses. And we sort of said, oh, that'd be a cool thing to do. But I think at the time it looked like they were either finished for that year or we weren't sure if you were doing them anymore. And so we were just kind of learning little bits and pieces, like no structure, no idea what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Some of the, the Toku Rio stuff and Scotty Morrison's books and stuff like that. And then I can't even remember how it came about, but saw saw the course come up and yeah, we were excited. I think <laughs> I think I got a bit too excited. I think I messaged you before the, the registration date even opened and a few things. Um but yeah, I was just jumping at the bit and um by that stage we'd, you know, it'd been a regular conversation for us, but we'd been talking about like this is something we really want to do and not just learn a little bit, you know, not just be able to know a few nice things like everyone knows Kia ora and, you know, those kind of things. But like we were actually talking about we want to learn this and invest 
time and money and we knew it was going to take hard work and sacrifice but and probably still is I guess probably at least a few years but the the goal that we have is to get to fluency and actually have that as our primary language at home so you know I guess it's Beautiful. how to do that and we've got a bit more of an idea now and this course has helped heaps but um yeah we know it's a it's a long-term sort of it, a long-term gig it's not a 30-day thing or a few months yeah it'll be it'll be interesting it's going to really change our lives you know we'll be going to work and speaking english and yeah. um you know speaking english with him but outside of that our aim is to be speaking teddy or with each other in the house and um yeah, just using it as much as we can. And then, yeah, hopefully when we go back to New Zealand, being able to cordial with some people that, that speak to you. Mean, bro, mean. That's an awesome story. <laughs> that, um, you know, how, how you've been able to become so exposed to this culture and to te reo all through not just your, your wahine, obviously, but going back to New Zealand and, and visiting there with your son, which sounds like an awesome experience. So, bro, that's cool yeah. that you, you – uh, it's – you become obsessed. I really like that. Bro. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Own that and one. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, bro, when one thing, you... Yeah, oh, sorry. Too, you is, um, yeah, sorry, bro. Um, I just wanted to add, like, I guess for us, like, we've only been married for five months now and we're both in our 30s, but we're looking at having children together at some point down the track and that was a big motivator as well, um, which I meant to say before but forgot, was that we won't actually teach our kids to be bilingual so hopefully like from birth they'll learn to be English speakers and Teddy all speakers obviously living in Australia they're going to need to know English there's not a huge population of fluent Teddy all speakers but yeah the idea is that we need to learn so that we can then teach them and we'll still be learning I think we'll be always learning but hopefully by the time that happens we'll you know we'll be a fair way down the road from where we are now and yeah we'll have the tools that we have, need as parents to teach them yeah, no, that's an- kids, kids will have yeah. so so much exposure to English outside the home. Like, I don't think you need yes. to teach them English. <laughs> <They'll> <laughs> <look>. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, cool, bro. So when you you know you you were looking around with your wife, you're looking for a course, um, looking for some guidance, and you found the course. Were was there were there any obstacles that might have prevented you from joining the course? Yeah, I think. Well, I think I was probably at some point feeling like I was really keen. So, you know, I had to, we had to be having pretty honest conversation and making sure we were on the same page, you know, we wanted to have like a joint vision in this and not just one person wanting to do it. I guess the main thing though is probably just time, you know, like we didn't want to sort of do it half-heartedly. Um, so from the outset, you know, we were both very much like if we do this, we're committed to doing this and, uh, the the course for the 30 days, but also like that for us was we saw that as a kickstart to a, a long term journey. So I guess the big thing for us is yeah we've had to change our day to day life a little bit to fit in doing an hour or so study, and we've been doing that the last week or so since the course wrapped up. Uh, so at the moment we're kind of redoing the course and trying to really get it to stick. But, you know, it's, for me I think it was. Towards the end, there was a lot of information, which was great, but I really wanted it to stick and we wanted to be using it at home. So we're going back through the course now and we're trying to find ways to, to use it every day. So, yeah, I think it was we just had to be really committed to it. We had to make the time. Uh, it's meant, you know, just finding ways to do it, whether it's listening in the car to, to the music. You know, it's um, I was often, you know, doing study on my lunch break at work. So rather than you know, hanging out with workmates or going and, you know, doing whatever I normally do on lunch. I was at the desk anyway. Mm. Um, I was there with the headphones in doing the course or writing out homework and then, yeah, like getting home of a night time and, you know, you put the put the little fella to bed and instead of chucking on a movie or YouTube or just, you know, whatever, our first thing was like we got to do, before we do anything, we've got to get the homework done. Mm. So I think making it a priority and just, yeah, you've got to, you've got to stick to it because it's mm. no shortcuts. That's, yeah, I mean, that's one. Like there's people that are more than willing and, you know, talented enough to help you, but you're only going to get out of it what you're prepared to put in and, you know, you've got to work. 
Exactly, bro. So yeah, like I, I think that is a bit of an apprehension for a lot of people getting started. You know, they start to see these testimonial videos, and we have quite a few now. Uh, understanding what the course content is, and you know whether it's going to be, uh, it, it's going to be at a level of in, like required input that matches what they're willing to do. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, you were certainly one of the ones that all the way through to day thirty. Bro, you were you were there without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, and so, bro, you go through the course, you get through the thirty days. You're obviously doing it at home as well with your way in there. <clears throat> Pardon me. What was the main result you got out, or the biggest result you got out of the course? Yeah, it's it's lots of things. I think really, like it's actually hard to pick one. I think. Um, obviously like you've been studying this stuff for a long time and it's just, it's great to have like a, you know, a short little package that's put together for you. And, um, I think one of the big things from the course is it's structured in a way that's really, um, it makes common sense. You learn a little bit and then you kind of build from that each day. So, um, you do feel like you're understanding what you're learning, even if maybe not retaining all the information, but it, it's very cool and very step by step. And, uh, easy to follow. Um, yeah, I I don't even think we could remember what we knew before the course. I think we've just we've learned so much. We didn't really know much at all, really. Um, but yeah, it's just good and the way that it's delivered. You know, I I love just getting a daily lesson and being able to jump on there and and read that and go through it and write stuff out and then yeah, the homework side of it, watching the uh, the all parky videos. You know, it's. It's actually really good, but I guess for people that might be thinking about doing the course, it can be a bit daunting at first. You start watching, you know, this show that's mainly in Teddy or and, you know, the first week we're just sitting there going, oh, I don't think this is really, like, we're not getting a lot out of this. But I think you start to realise you actually are getting a lot out of it. And I guess it's a bit of a, a bit of a change in process and the way you think about things. And you start to think, oh, I know that word. And... I know that sentence and you're paying attention to the English subtitles and yeah, it makes you hungry for it and you, you yeah. want to actually want to sort of go further with it kind of a yeah. bit more motivation. And, and then the homework side of it, I think is great because it connects you with other people straight away that are doing the course. So I think we had something like 50 people doing the course and we'll put into a group with two other people straight away and we're able to send messages to them most days yeah. and, yeah, we kind of all went through the course at different paces at times because people had work things come up or family things. But yeah, there was a lot of back and forth, sending little videos and photos and asking each other questions and even just out of the course, just, you know, making friendships, making connections, you know, like being able to chat with you on Facebook. I was actually just messaging one of the other guys from our course that lives in New Zealand only like five minutes before we started doing this. Um, yeah, it's cool. I think being able to have the course to make these connections with people that have the same kind of desire or vision to learn Teddy all that, you know, none of these people were connected to me before doing this course. And now was with a whole bunch of people and that, that doesn't end at the end of the 30 days. Like you get the course, which you can redo as much as you want. You can still jump in the page and chat with people, but then you also made these connections that you can use. Like I imagine there's people from this course like yourself and other people that, I'll be talking to, you know, probably forever and able to bounce back off and see how people are going on their journey. The guy that I was talking to tonight, one of the first questions we hit each other with was, you know, how have you been going with the stuff since the course finished? Are you, are you still going down that path? What are your plans? And mm. yeah, to hear that like he's got plans to do some, some formal study and keep going with it. And um, we've actually just enrolled in another course through um, Te Arawa, which is like an online New Zealand course it doesn't start for a couple of months so we've got plenty of time to re revisit this course stuff and really get those basics down pat before we before we move on to something else yeah bought a few new books oh, right. from the foundations as well <laughs> nice and yeah like the the way that the course is structured is that we learn one thing we don't necessarily move on to learn another separate thing it's all laid. We keep building. We keep building and building and building. So, you know, we're not just learning things in isolation. We're building things that we can can build off and develop off. And that really helps the earliest, the later content, 
because it's built on the earlier content, it helps to continually reinforce the earlier content that you're learning. And that, that's really yeah. the whole philosophy behind it. And yeah, like you touched on, bro, you meet lots of cool people. You know, I've done this with hundreds of people now and there's quite a few that I stay in touch with, some that I've even I got to catch up with in real life face to face, which is awesome. And that's that's you know, what's the the center of our culture, bro. It's it's fanonga tanga. Yeah. Um, you know, just connecting with people. So I'm, I'm really happy that you got that out of it, bro. Um, you've touched on a few things already, but for you, what was the a specific, the specific, a specific feature of the course that that you liked most? You, you touched on a few different things there with the, um, you know, yeah, connecting with different people, the group work, the homework, the lessons, all yeah. those things. For you, what what was probably the best or the most uh, efficient uh, feature of the course for your? Yeah. I think probably the thing that I probably enjoyed the most was the weekly Zoom call where we all caught up and chatted. Um, that was just cool to sort of get a rundown on the week and chat with people kind of, not face-to-face, but online rather than just text. But in terms of the course, I think for me, I just like things that are practical and logical or, you know, I have a kind of analytical kind of practical mind. So um, I loved with all the lessons you always gave us like, so a structure for how to say something. Um, and then there was always lots of examples. And I think that really makes a difference because, uh, you know, a lot of the books that we've brought, you can read how to say one thing, but then you don't re- necessarily know how to say something similar and change the words. Whereas you always gave us multiple examples of how to say things. And often it would be kind of the structure we knew. And then maybe the last example would kind of, just push it a little bit further. So at first you might look at it and think, oh, I don't know what that is, but it gets you thinking about why are the words in the order that they're in and what do, what do the, each words mean? What do they mean together? And when you add something onto it that you're not expecting, what could that possibly mean? So you start to, maybe you don't always know exactly what it says, but you get an idea of what it's saying. And you start to kind of build your knowledge, build your the amount of words that you know, mm. which is, you know, that's important too, because um, I was just part of my research before starting this course. I don't know the official number, but different sources that I saw online said to be fluent in a language, you've got to have something between 15,000 and 25,000 words. Hmm. Speak, you know, at a fluent conversational level. So even just having examples where some of the examples you'd use a word and I didn't know what that word was. So you go straight to multi dictionary and you look it up and you're constantly learning new words, new ways to say things. And uh, I can't remember the term that you put it, but you'd often teach us how to say a lot with a few words. So we might get, you know, a structure that's kind of three main parts to it. And then if you know 10 words, then it's got this multiplication effect where you only really have to know one structure. Mm. But if you know 10 words, then you can possibly say 30 things or 100 things Mm. or, you know, you learn a few words and it just has this exponential growth to it. So before you know it, you feel like, Oh, I can actually say like quite a bit mm. and every learn a new word automatically, you can use that word 10 or 15 or 20 different ways. Yep. And, and the, when you look at that, you look at different types of words and how they fit within different sentences. So you might be focusing on a specific sentence structure with a specific word in it. But if you know, if you know the, the context of that word and, and uh, you know, how, we're talking like pronouns and verbs and think nouns and things like that, you know, that word doesn't just fit within that sentence. You can then go and take it away and use it in different sentence structures. So you're not yeah. only, like you said, there's that, that exponential growth. If, if you've got a sentence that's made up of three parts and the first part, you know, four different kupu, the second part, you know, five different kupu and the, the last part, you know, 10 different kupu, well, that's that's 19 kupu that you've had to learn within that structure. But if I go four times five, which is 20 times 10 is 200, there's 200 combinations that I can say. There's 200 different sentences that I can say just from learning those 19 words. And I, for me, I think that's one of the things that really helps people have a light bulb moment when they get it. They go, wow, I, I can actually say, and I know a lot more than I've been giving myself credit for. And you've just touched on it there, bro, without even me raising it. So I'm really glad that you got that out of it. Uh, really good to see. 
Cool, bro. So we've got, we've got through the course. Uh, we've gone over some of the features, you know, what you got out of it. For someone that's watching at home, for someone's watching this video, whether it's in 2020, whether it's in 2025, and they're considering doing this course, would you recommend this course to someone that is considering doing it? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, yeah, the way the course is put together, it's just super easy to follow. It's super helpful. Um, you, Grant, have always been like really involved in it, answering people's questions, helping people, just being really available. And I think, yeah, I think regardless of whether you've had a little bit of exposure to Teddy or maybe you've you learnt a bit a long time ago and haven't been using it, I don't think it really matters what level you're at. I think this course is a really good place to start. And I think, uh, yeah, I don't think too many people would do this course and not want to keep going on their, the journey. I think like our experiences, it's only kind of fueled the fire of us wanting to learn. And yeah, it's been, it's been fantastic. And the fact that we can come back to the course at any time and you can redo the course, you can talk with other people that have done the course. I just, yeah, it's really setting you up for success with learning, learning the language. Yeah. And for me running this course, that's one of the things that I love. I love seeing you know, people that do this course. Uh, they're generally unsure. They're struggling with their journey. They're, they're not really sure where to start, how to do it, what to do exactly. So I, I really love getting to the end of this course and seeing how much people have grown, how much they've developed, mm. not only in their, you know, their ability to speak, their, their knowledge, but just the inspiration that they get out of it. And it's like there's a new vision. They can see a path. Yeah. Like you were saying at the start, you and your wife, you know, you, you couldn't quite see how you had to go, like how you had to do it. What was the path? What was the right way to go? Whereas now you've gone through these 30 days and you've got so much more clarity, so much more clarity around how you're going to move, where you, where you want to get to. You can actually now, you can set a point in the distance that you want to get to. And for me, yeah. that, that's probably the, the biggest thing I get out of this course, helping people to get clarity on where they're going yeah. to go. And you can take people that do this course, they can take the structure of the course, they can take the framework of it and apply it to where they want to get to next. So if you take, look at some of the content that you're unsure of that you know you want to learn and start to put it in the context of this framework, uh, the framework of uh, you know, this course, you, know, you, you can almost build this course for yourself to go down a, another path. And for some people it is going down a, a path of Tadeo. We've had people that uh, you know, realize that, hey, I've got a lot more work to do on my whakapapa. So they, they learn much more about their whakapapa. There's people that have learned more about um, Oh, what else like um like around tikanga and we've had some ladies get really involved um in some of those more uh, wahine uh, style kopapa so yeah the the world's really your oyster I'm, I'm really glad and um and happy that i've been able to come on this journey with you and i know your wife's been there as well so uh for the both of you. that's been great bro so bro just to wrap up um you know People watching this at home, is there anything else that you'd like to add before we close? Anything, uh, anything else you want to share? Um, yeah, I just encourage people to give it a go. I think, uh, honestly, what we learned in 30 days, if we were doing that on our own, I could have taken us 100, 200, 300 days to learn that, you know. Um, you just get this awesome package of stuff. You get a bunch of people, mainly yourself, but a bunch of, you know, other peers to learn with and help you along the way. and I think, yeah, you, you're hard pressed not to learn a lot in 30 days. Um, so I'd highly recommend it. It's very inexpensive and yeah, you get, you'll get as much out of it as you're willing to put into it. And um, yeah, if you want to learn, it's, I think it's impossible not to get a huge amount out of this course. Bro, you certainly put in a lot into this course and I know you've got a lot out of it, bro. It's the, the proof is in the pudding with how well you're doing. So bro, uh, thank you. Thank you for jumping on tonight. Thank you for giving your time out uh, to share your experiences, share uh, how you went on the course for everyone watching at home. If you're interested in checking out the course, please jump over to the starting in Tareo Māori Facebook group. That's usually the first place that I release the course in uh, for upcoming courses. But yeah, um, thanks again, bro. Really appreciate it. And all the best to you and your whanau. 
Thanks, bro. Cheers. Right. Kia ora.